Let's take a look at the state of Florida now. Florida GOP leaders are predicting a big victory for Donald Trump in that state, even though Hillary Clinton is leading in some new polling. Top Republicans point to shadow voters. These are people they say aren't registering in the polls. Fox Business Network's Adam Shapiro is live from Tampa to explain more. Adam. Hello, Jenna. Right. The shadow voter are people who were not registered the last time around and have been registered in the most recent cycle within the last six months to a year. And they're being missed by the pollsters, according to Republicans. But they're dri being driven and motivated by things like the WikiLeaks, you know, the Hillary Clinton emails and the campaign emails, which make disparaging remarks about Catholics and evangelicals or have headlines, needy Latinos, one easy call. So we spoke with Tony Ledbetter. He is the uh, GOP county chair in Volusia County. That's Daytona Beach and Daytona. And here's one of the reasons he believes that this state is going to vote Trump. Our numbers are going up and their numbers are going down. I'm getting 100 phone calls a day from people that haven't registered, haven't been voting, have not voted since Reagan, and they just want to know where do I go register to vote. Now, of course, Republicans and Democrats are counting on Florida to help their candidate win, but one of the reasons Republicans are some, a little bit more optimistic than perhaps in the past about Florida has to do with the strong turnout that took place during the primaries. Remember, Donald Trump won 66 to 67 counties here. And when we spoke to uh, Joe Gruters, who is the Florida Trump campaign chair as well as a vice chair of the GOP, he said he's optimistic. Take a listen. Donald Trump is winning this race. He's going to win Florida. He won 66 out of 67 counties in the primary. I don't expect a clean sweep in the general, but I expect him to win big here in Florida. And one thing that uh, Republicans like to point out is that nine counties, which used to be majority Democratic Party, are now majority Republican registered voters. They have that as a feather in their cap. Back to you, Jenna. Mm, very interesting, Adam. Thank you.